Hey everyone, welcome back, Crown Geek here. So we all want our computer to be as fast as possible, whether it's just for the day-to-day -day workload or for more demanding scenarios like gaming or designing. So if you're looking for a simple video that should be effective and should make your Windows 11 faster without harming your Windows 11, then apply these eight best optimization that will be surely improving the performance and even increase the FPS while gaming. So make sure that you do not skip any of the step and the last one is the most important. So without any further delay, let's quickly get it started. So the very first recommendation that I would give you to disable the search indexing. Now Windows search indexing is a feature where Windows constantly update index of your file. So you can search from the Windows search that is at the bottom of your taskbar. Now this feature is really useful if you do a lot of searching to reach to your file using the Windows search. But if not, then better go ahead and disable this feature as indexing eat a lot of resources. And in order to disable it, you will have to click on your Windows search type services. From the suggestion, you will have to click on services. This will list you all kind of services running or the stop on your computer. And here you have to look for a service by the name Windows search. So press the W key from your keyboard and you will come to the W section. And here you have to look for the Windows search. So keep scrolling down. And somewhere you will find Windows Search. Once you get it, make a double click on it. From the startup type, you have to click on the drop down. Either choose it to manual or go ahead and disable it. And then click on stop. Click on apply and click on OK. So now the Windows Search indexing will be stopped here. And so there will not be any kind of utilization from the Windows Search to index any of your files. And now next you have to increase the page file size. And this optimization is especially for the low-end PC users like having 2, 4 or even 8 GB of RAM. So Windows 11 basically cuts out a chunk of your hard drive and uses it as if it were a RAM when the physical RAM on your PC isn't enough. And this feature is called the virtual memory. So if you really have a low-end PC or an old laptop or PC with 2, 4 or 8 GB of RAM then you must apply this step where you have to increase the page file size. And in order to increase the page file size, you will have to click on your Windows search. Type sysdm.cpl. Hit the enter key. This will bring up the system properties. Here from the top menu option, you will have to click on advanced. Under the performance, click on settings. From the top menu option, you will have to click on advanced. And here you will find the virtual memory option that says a paging file is an area on the hard disk that Windows uses as if it uh, were a RAM. Alright, so you will have to click on change. Now it might be selected to automatically manage paging file size. You have to uncheck this option. Click on the custom size. Now initial and the maximum size will depend that what kind of RAM you have. So in order to check your RAM, you need to right click on the taskbar, click on task manager. From the left hand side, click on the performance. And here in the memory section, you can find your RAM. Like on my end, I have 4 GB of RAM. So in the initial size, you have to convert your 4 GB of RAM into MB and then multiply by 1.5. Similarly, in the maximum size, you have to convert your 4 GB of RAM into MB and multiply by 3. So we can quickly bring up the calculator here. So 1 GB of RAM contains 1024 MB and I have 4 GB of RAM, so I will take 4. If you have 8, 2 or 16, then you have to enter your amount here. Multiply by 1024 so that we can get the value in MB. So here we have the 4096 MB that is 4 gigabyte. Now for the initial size we have to multiply this by 1.5. And this is the value we have. So we will enter in, in the initial size 6100. We can put in the round figure no problem. And in the maximum size again we will convert 4 gigabyte of RAM with 1024 so that we can get the MB value. And for the maximum size, we will multiply by 3, 12, 288. Okay, so what I can do, I can type in round figure, that will be 12,000. And then you have to click on set. And you find the paging file size has been set over here. Then you have to click on OK. Click on OK. And click on OK again. And you are all done. Alright, and now let's move to the next optimization guys where we have to disable the unwanted animation. Now if you're really concerned about the performance and you don't want to enjoy all kind of animation on Windows 11, 
then better go ahead and disable the unwanted animation. Very simple, click on your Windows search, type sysdm.cpl, again hit the enter key. Again from the system properties, you will have to click on advanced. Under the performance, you have to click on settings. Now here you will find that it will be selected to let Windows choose what best for my computer. And all kind of animation are being selected here. So we don't want all of them. So we can go ahead and choose the third option, adjust for best performance and enable only few of them that are really required. Like animate windows when minimizing and maximizing, show thumbnail instead of icon and a smooth edges of a screen font. Once you are done, click on apply and click on OK. Next, you need to choose the high performance power plan on your Windows 11. Now there is a setting in Windows 11 that changes the power mode of your PC, which basically how it manages the power consumption and performance and by default most computer will have the power mode set to the balanced but you can squeeze a bit more performance out of your PC if you choose the high performance mode. This keeps more of your CPU code active at all the time so things generally run a bit faster though you will be sacrificing battery life if you are using a laptop but if you are really concerned about the performance then you can choose this option. And for this, you have to right click on the windows icon again, click on settings. From the left hand menu option, you will have to click on system. Then scroll down a bit and click on power. Here you will find the power mode. Optimize your device based on your power use and performance. Click on the drop down here and choose the best performance. A part of this, what else you have to do? You need to click on your windows search. Type powercfg.cpl. Hit the enter key. Here you will find all kind of power plan and you will see that it's been selected to balanced. Now you have to click on show additional plan here and choose the high performance. And you can read here it says favor performance but may use more energy. Alright so once you are done now you can go ahead and close it. And next you have to check your computer for the viruses as well. Now viruses technically doesn't slow down the performance but the file of any malware or viruses running in the background can eat a lot of resources. So if you click on your windows search and type here resource monitor and click on it here on the top you will find many categories here so you can click on the cpu then click on memory and you need to notice here that what kind of application is utilizing the maximum resources you can do the same by clicking on the network here and if you find any suspicious file here then you can right click on it and click on end process and then you will have to go ahead and run any kind of antivirus scan as well, which can be your Windows security scan. Or if you're using any kind of third party antivirus, then you can also run a scan for that particular program. So for Windows security, just click on your Windows search, type virus, click on virus and threat protection. And here on the top, you will find the scan option. Click on it. Now, if you are in a hurry, then you can go with a quick scan that also works good. But if you have enough time, then I would recommend you to go and choose the full scan option that will be scanning all your hard disk and find any kind of suspicious item. Once selected, you will have to click on the scan now and the scanning will be started. A part of this, I would also recommend you to use a third party malware remover. And for that, I would recommend you to use the Hitman Pro. So bring up any of your browser and you have to type here Hitman Pro. Click on the first website here. It says remove malware with the Hitman Pro. You need to click on the free 30 day trial. And don't worry, it will not be asking you for any kind of debit or credit card. Click download 64 bit or 32 bit, whichever you're using. And it will be quickly downloaded. So click on the downloaded file. Click on yes. Click on next here. Next. Select no, I only want to perform a one time scan to check this computer. Click on next. And this will start scanning your computer and if it detect any kind of trojan or any kind of viruses or any kind of malware it will simply list you in the box here and if you really have any dangerous malware or viruses the scanning color from green will be converted to the red color that indicate that you have the very harmful infection on your device so wait here until all the scanning has been completed and once it's been done you can click on next and remove all the trojan and the malware from your device okay and now let's move to the next optimization where you have to disable the startup applications so when you install a new application or program there's a good chance 
that the app will register itself to start up alongside Windows itself. Now this can be good for a fewer program like any kind of drivers or any kind of antivirus. But it's really not good for all the other kind of third party application like Discord, Steam, Microsoft Team or any other kind of messenger. As these programs start along with your computer and slow down the starting time of your operating system and even they run in the background and slow down the overall performance. So what you need to do, right click on the taskbar, click task manager. From the left hand menu option here, click on the startup apps. Now this will list you all kind of third party application that you have installed on your device. As I said, which can be Discord, Steam, Skype or any other kind of application, whichever it is. And you don't want that it should come along with the computer. Right click on it and click on disable. OneDrive, I will also disable it. And so on, you have to look for the other application and disable them. And next you have to try disabling the efficiency mode on your Windows 11. So Windows 11 comes with a feature in the task manager called the efficiency mode, which reduces the allocation of CPU resources to background application in order to improve the overall performance. Generally speaking, this is a good feature to have, but sometimes efficiency mode can slow down the tasks that are actually important for you and things perform worse than expected. So if you are having performance issues with any specific application, then it's worth opening the task manager and making sure it's not running in the efficiency mode. So for example, I have a Microsoft Edge here and I have a problem with this application and you can see on the right of it, it says this process group is in efficiency mode to limit resources used by the application. So this green leaves indicate that this application is running in the efficiency mode. So what you can do if you have the problem with this application, you can disable the efficiency mode for this application. So for this, you have to double click on it. Then right click here on any of this tab here that says efficiency. And then uncheck this option that says efficiency mode. You can do the same with the other tab here. Simply right click on it and uncheck the efficiency mode. So again, this is a very useful feature, useful trick that you can apply in case if you have trouble with any of the application running in the efficiency mode. All right, and now let's move with our last optimization that is the most important where we will be removing the Windows 11 junk with the Windows 11 Deep Load application. So again, bring up your browser here and then you have to search Win 11 Deep Load and hit the enter key. On the top, you will be getting Win 11 Deep Load GitHub from the ref file. I will share the direct link in the description. Bring it up. Now here on the github page, if you want to read more about it, then you can read it that how exactly it work. Then where it says code in the green color, click on the drop down and click on download zip. And the file will be quickly downloaded in a zip file. So instead of clicking on it, click on the folder here, show in folder, right click on it, click on extract all, click on extract. Once extracted, open the Win 11 deep loader master. Then you will find the run file here. That is a Windows batch file. Make a right click on it and click run as admin. Click on yes. And very soon it will come up with a PowerShell page like this. And it says Windows 11 deep load script. Number one, default mode apply the default setting. Number two, custom mode modify the script to your need. Number three, app removal mode select and remove application without making other changes. So we will go with the custom mode here. So we will type number two key and hit the enter key. Next it asks you don't remove any application. Only remove the default selection of bloatware app from the app list.txt. Then you have removed default selection of bloatware app as well as mail and calendar app. Then you have select which app to remove and which to keep. So personally I would like to go with the third option but if you want to go with the first one then you can also go with that. So for third I will type three again and hit the enter key. And very quickly, it will bring up this kind of small box here, Win11 Deep Load Application Selection. And it will display all kind of bloatware here. So what you have to do, you need to select them all and you can uncheck the application that you don't want to be removed from your Windows 11. Okay, so Amazon, I would like to remove it. Asphalt, I would like to remove it. Clipchamp, Cooking Fire Fever, Cyberlink, Disney, Disney Magic Kingdom. I would like to remove all of them. 
but still you should go with each and every application here in case if you need any one of them then you have to go ahead and check it like below you will find the microsoft copilot and if you want to remove it then you can also check this option microsoft edge if you want to remove the microsoft edge you can do that get help i would also like to remove it microsoft people i would like to remove it onedrive i would like to remove it microsoft zune music zune video i will just remove them from my computer xbox i really don't need it i don't use them so i will go ahead and check them so as i said it will all depend on you that what exactly you use and what you not and accordingly you can select them now once you are done you will simply have to click on confirm here then it will ask you disable xbox game screen recording also stop gaming overlay pop-up now i would personally recommend you to disable this option as this utilizes a lot of resources and even you will find a drop in the fps while gaming so again go ahead and disable this and to do that you have to press the y key from the keyboard then hit the enter key remove all the pin application from the start menu so here give you a few options remove all the pinned app from the start menu or the current user so i will type number one hit the enter key disable the telemetry diagnostic data activity history yes i will press the y key disable the tape trick suggestion yes so i will press the y key again disable and remove bing web search bing ai and cortana yes i will press the y key again disable and remove the windows copilot yes i want to remove it disable the windows recall snapshot now i'm already on windows 11 24h2 here and if you also want to remove the windows recall then you can easily do that press the y key again and hit the enter key restore the old windows 10 style context menu so when you right click on the windows 11 here on the desktop you find this kind of new context menu and if you really don't like it and need the old one of windows 10 then again here you can press the y key and hit the enter do you want to make any changes through the taskbar and the related services no i don't want to make do you want to make any changes to file explorer no so i will type n do you want to disable any context menu option no i don't want to do that press enter to confirm your choices and execute the script or press ctrl c to quit so if you want to proceed press the enter key and if you want to quit ctrl and c so i will confirm by pressing the enter key and now you will see that the debloating and all the optimization stuff will be started here so wait until it's all been done All right, so finally all the work has been completed and even you can view them by scrolling up what it exactly did and then at the bottom it says the script completed successfully press any key to exit. All right, so now if I close it and if I make a right click on my desktop so you can see we got the old context menu here and then if I click on the windows icon so you can see all the pin section has been removed and if I click on all application so all the bloatware has been removed from here very neat and clean page now and you have successfully applied all the steps here and once you restart your computer you will find that your windows 11 is working much faster now without any kind of problem and you will be enjoying the gaming now with the more fps and that's all guys for today hopefully you enjoyed the video and found this information useful if yes make sure that you hit the like subscribe and i see you on the next video Bye bye